Let's have a look at some additional functions that you can make use of in the session mode on Push. So when you're working in the session mode, you also have the ability to change the color of tracks and clips. So here I currently have a clip playing, but I'd like to change the color. I'll hold down the shift button and tap the pad and now I have the possibility to choose any of the colors that are available on the perimeter of the pads. I'm going to change this to red. And here you can see now that the clip has turned red. To do the same for the second clip. And so now both clips are in red. If I hold down the shift button and press the button under the display, I can also change the color of the track. So I'm going to change this also to the same color. In the session mode, I also have the possibility to copy clips from one position to another. I'd like to copy this clip to this particular scene. To do that, I'll simply hold the duplicate button and tap the clip, and then select the destination where I'd like the clip to be copied to. I also have the ability to copy clips from one track to another, of course, respective of what type of clip they are. That means if I want to copy a MIDI clip, I'll have to copy it to another MIDI track. Or if I want to copy an audio clip, then I need to copy that to another audio track. So let's do the same thing with that clip and copy it to another MIDI track. So I can also duplicate tracks in the session mode. To do this, I can simply hold down the duplicate button and select the track with the button under the display to duplicate it. This is great for when you want to maybe play the same sound with a different preset or a different device altogether. So let's choose a different preset.